A common misconception is that you can't bring your dogs to the national parks. And while there are restrictions, there are actually a lot of dog-friendly programs and trails. In fact, there's an interactive map on the National Park Service website which lists all park units that are dog friendly. And to help us tell you about some of those great programs and trails, we have Scout here to help us. We're Howard and Caitlin Newstate of the Newstate Nomads. And in 2023, we're traveling in a Winnebago Vista National Park Foundation limited edition to 51 parks in 52 weeks. And we travel with our three furry family members, Scout, Piper, and Ella. And the first program we're going to talk about is the Bark Ranger program, which is kind of like the Junior Rangers, but for dogs. And Scout is very excited to tell you about this because she was recently sworn in as a Bark Ranger in Redwoods National and State Parks. All right, we have Scout's Bark Ranger tag here, and she's going to get sworn in as a Bark Ranger. Come on, honey. Hello there. Hi. Hey there, Scout. Yeah, this is going to go on your collar here. And so this is our Bark Ranger brochure. Um, it's a program here to, uh, we like to share with the public some of the dog rules, pet rules, where you can take your dog, where you can't. Um, and yeah, we have this little pledge that you can say on behalf of your dog, because I'm sure Scout doesn't speak English, right? <laughs> Swear in your dog here. Are you ready, Scout? <laughs> As a Redwood Bark Ranger, I promise to protect my park, sniff new things, and take my human on adventures among the tallest trees in the world. Can you handle that, Scout? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. So, okay. Thank you, you can put that on there. You know what I like to do? I'm going to uh, personalize this. And this is a fairly new program across the National Park Service. So, not every single national park or unit of the National Park has it. So, make sure you check the website if you're looking to have your dog sworn in as a bark ranger. And we got this really cute bark ranger dog toy and a bark ranger bandana. I'm really excited to give these to the dogs. <laughs> and overall, the Bark Ranger program is about being a good dog <laughs> in the national parks. And BARK is actually an acronym, which stands for bag your pet's waist, always leash your pet, respect wildlife, and know where you can go. And every national park that offers the Bark Ranger program puts their own little spin on it. So Ranger Steven actually had me read the oath to Scout and then signed off on her paperwork and then took some photos with her. I think at some national parks, they give them a little treat. And you have the option of buying the little dog tag that goes on their collar. And they're all unique to each individual park, so you can collect them. The day that Scout was sworn in as a Bark Ranger, Redwoods was doing something very special and unique. I think it's one Saturday every month in the winter months, they take their main scenic road and close it off and it becomes a pet friendly walking trail or a biking trail. So we got to take Scout to see some of those magnificent massive redwood trees. And got some great photos. <laughs> Generally speaking, dogs are allowed in most campgrounds, picnic areas, and parking lots. And since we're camping with our dogs, we've taken them to several of the National Park campgrounds. So now that we've given you an overview, let's talk about some of the specific parks, starting with one of the most dog-friendly, Acadia National Park. And they do have the Bark Ranger program. In addition to that, they have over 100 miles of dog-friendly hiking trails and 45 miles of carriage roads that you can take your dog on. And certain times of the year, their main beach is also dog friendly. So just check the sign that's posted at the entrance to see if you can bring your dog onto the beach. And you can even bring your dog to the restaurant at Jordan Pond. They have a huge outdoor area with tables and we were able to sit with Scout and have a great meal. The next extremely friendly national park is Gateway Arch in St. Louis. We have visited before, not with the dog, so I'm very excited to go back with them because they actually offer a ton of bark ranger specific programs like puppuccino crawls, exercising with your pets. They even do like a Halloween costume parade in October and they have everything listed out on their website. While dogs aren't permitted below the rim at Grand Canyon, they are permitted above the rim. The South Rim is actually quite dog friendly and you can walk with your dog, take some great family photos. If you want to do a longer hike, you can board the dogs at the on-site kennel so that way you can take off and head down to Angel's Landing or anywhere else. What's that, Scott? Oh, you'd like to talk about White Sands? Oh, that was one of your favorites? Okay, so the next two parks we're going to talk about don't necessarily have the Bark Ranger program, but they do have very dog friendly activities. <laughs> White Sands National Park is extremely dog friendly. In fact, they even say you can bring your cat or your bird as long as it's tethered or on a leash. And we got to take all three dogs sledding at White Sands. <laughs> I think she liked it. Yeah? <laughs> Was that fun? Good girl. Yeah, do you want to go again? The park is a lot of fun with your dogs and they can run and frolic and 
Dig. Dig. <laughs> that was one of Scout's favorite things to do. She was born on a beach on an island in Mexico, so I think that was kind of like home for her. And finally, North Cascades National Park in Washington State also has dog-friendly trails. We took Piper, Ella, and Scout on the Thunder Knob Trail, and it was a lot of fun. They even got to go through a little bit of a creek. They were having a great time. <laughs> and again, it's great photo ops with your furry family members. So that's six of our favorite dog-friendly national parks. But well, we barely scratched the surface. There are many more. So if you have a favorite dog-friendly activity inside a national park, just drop it in the comments below. And to learn more about our 51 parks in 52 weeks tour, visit newstatenomads.com slash nationalparks. Thanks for watching. See ya.